Hi, so today is day one of me trying to figure out how to do animation. And I've been looking for something that's fun to draw, something that will really encourage me to want to work through the whole month. And I decided that anything that begins with Rainbow Dash and includes at the gala, that's got to be useful. That's got to be fun. And I really, 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 really like this little sequence that happens right here. It has a lot going for it that will make it my life a lot easier. First, backgrounds are very simple. Second, one character right up in the foreground. And then we've got three. And then we've got that wing, which looks to me to be the short wing beat, where you're going to have like eight frames of wing movement. The whole thing is about 27 seconds, and that's what I'm looking for for the whole month. And I think this is perfect. I think this is exactly what I'm looking for. And so the first thing I do is uh, grab the Earl, go over to KeepVid, uh, keep download a copy of the movie to my, my hard drive. If you haven't used KeepVid before, it's pretty awesome. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing or if it's evil, but uh, I like it. And I open that up the resulting mp4 into um, iMovie and the whole movie itself is rather long there's a lot of here a lot here and when I started working with this I went into uh, image ready and just extracted frames and ended up with 800, 800 files that's a little bit more than I want to start with it takes 10-15 minutes for me to open this up in any of the tools I want to work with so instead, I found a short little snippet. And that seems to be enough for me to work with. Saving that out of iMovie, I get an uh, M4V, an MP4, which nothing works with except iMovie. <laughs> so the first thing I do in QuickTime is, well, not save for web, uh, save that as a movie. Now, another thing that's going to be happening with this is that once I actually have all my drawings done and I'm compositing it, I need some way of being able to take the individual frames that I've scanned in and sync them back up with the sound. And I think the most useful tool for that is going to be Flash, which is perhaps ironic because Flash is the tool that this is normally done in. Um, but I'm not going to be using Flash to draw the movie. I'm only going to be using Flash to composite the movie and to help me break out my keyframes and to figure out what my transitions are. And this video has a lot of bizarre transitions. There's memory wipes, there's, there's straight wipes, there's, there's this kind of um, wavy wipe that happens later in it. So what I'm going to do is start just with this little fragment first and see if I can understand the tools and get practiced with actually drawing. So here I am in Flash. This is the probably third time I've ever used Flash. And what I figured out is that in Flash I can import a video. And the video has to be in a movie. And so I select my movie. And continue. I know I want to embed the video in a, in a Softwave, uh, Shockwave Flash um, timeline. I know that I want to embed it as embedded. I want the audio track to be integrated. Figured that part out. Um, the next step is that I need to do some advanced features. First, I want 24 frames per second. Just because I think that's an awful lot smoother presentation. I do want the audio inv embedded and I've selected high quality just because I really want to be able to try to make sure that I'm matching the, the mouth and when I went on medium quality it was very difficult for me to pick out Rainbow Dash's mouth in some of the lines so um, other than that I'm just going to kind of go pretty straight now one of the reasons that I'm doing this is that I want to learn how to animate I really respect animation a lot it's it's always been fascination for me and I've always loved cartooning I've always loved manga and uh, had a webcomic and things like that. Back in 2000 I decided I wanted to learn how to draw. So I looked at my favorite artists like um, uh, uh, Fujishima-san uh, who does Amigami-sama and practiced his drawings over and over and over until I kind of had an idea of what he was doing when he created his hair. Taught my own hand what his stroke is like 
when he's doing a dress or when he's doing a leg. Now, I don't like his feet. I think I think he's I think there's there's some cases where the the emperor is not wearing any pants, but in general, I think his drawing style is amazing, and I think it's because he started out life as a fashion designer, and he really has a passion for the human shape. Um, I thought that Masamune Shiro was going to be one of my heroes, and boy, howdy, is he not. Um, I really loved what he was doing with his old stuff, like Black Magic 666, and, or Black Magic 99, and, and the original Appleseed, but it's become so oversaturated over time and now his newer stuff it's like he's just completely forgot human anatomy um, admittedly he draws pretty things I mean he absolutely draws pretty things but if I'm gonna look to someone as an inspiration for adding shine to a character I'm gonna look at clamp I'm not gonna look at Masuma Nishiro because everything he's drawing now is just slick um, so anyway, so after practicing Fujishima for quite a while, um, I actually found that my drawing style ended up being a lot more like Yohi Manabe's than anything else, um, which is kind of interesting because I wasn't trying to be him. But that's, I guess, kind of the way your individual style finally comes out is that everything you draw looks like you've stolen it from someone. You know, when I draw something freehand today, I see the influences of every artist that I really loved. This is this is Schultz's mouth. This is Fujishima's hair. This is um, Manabe's eyes. And there's aspects of it that I know are mine, and I recognize my art now when I draw it myself, um, to the point where I don't even really sign anything anymore because I just know that's mine. Um, I do like super flat, so that's working well. So anyway, when I, when I wanted... So when I decided I wanted to learn how to animate, I looked around to see what are the shows that I'm most intrigued by, what are the shows that are most fascinating in how they're using animation technique. And for me, it's My Little Pony. Uh, Friendship is Magic. Not just because of what they're doing with Flash, but because of what they're doing with blocking and directing. What they're doing with wipes and scene cuts. And how they're actually using the characters in the scene. Um, that seems to me the goal that I want to emulate. So here I am loading now into Flash this first movie, um, which is going to be my first little tiny attempt at animation. If I can replicate this, then I think I'm going to be working pretty well. So here we are. It's loaded into Flash. Now I'm still figuring this out. Um, so here I have my first layer. And if I play this, there's no sound. But you can see it's about 110 frames. That's pretty good. That's three frames a day for me to do this in October. This will be three frames a day. And you can see there's a lot of motion happening here. A lot of repetitive stuff, but a lot of motion. And I'm going to be drawing frame by frame. I may do separate backgrounds, but I'm going to be doing the characters frame by frame. So I will be drawing every one of these wings each time that it's needed. Um, I probably won't be doing separate mouths just because I'm stupid that way. And then I want sound, and I believe what I do is I add a new layer select frame one and I say I want the sound oh look at that I can't sound there well that's annoying can I get sound here can't get sound there so I've loaded it but I don't have sound in here but I've got my frames and I'm really happy with that I'm really really happy with that I wish I could figure out why I'm not getting my sound. Well, try that. I'll, I'll look at this a little bit further and figure out how to get my sound. Uh, one of the tricks of this is I like to try and fail, try and fail, try and fail, try and fail. And every time I come back, I like to fail harder next time. So here I've, I've got my frames. So I can start figuring out now what my keyframes are. You know, I could just say every 10 frames I'm just going to make as a registration frame that I'm going to do those every 10 frames first and then composite it and see what I actually get and maybe I'll start work on that today and stop worrying so much about getting the sound going but I do ultimately want to have the sound so that I can animate I can composite my own drawings with the sound and um, I will see you tomorrow <laughs>